Today, Onomo had the last American League no-hitter last April in Baltimore as a member of the Red Sox. Saturday, Boston's Derek Lowe flirting with another no-no. He was decent as a closer. He's even better as a starter. Lowe working against the Devil Rays Saturday. Coming up six out shy of a no-no in his first start of the year. April 5th at Baltimore on top one. He gets Jason Tyner. Good start. Bottom one, look who it is. It's Ricky. Oh, he looks good in that Red Sox uni. Up, oh, Delvin James is first as a Red Sox. 80th career leadoff home run. one nothing Boston. Ricky, two for four. Back to Lowe. Top three. Walks Brent Abernathy. This actually turned out to be the only base runner allowed by Lowe all day. Now two out to Abernathy on second. Tyner to Jose Offerman. Hold your breath out there. All right. It's always dicey when he's involved. Inning over. Top four. Seven up the Red Sox. Steve Cox to right. Trot Nixon. Dirt Dog with a big catch out there for the second straight game. Top five, two outs, Abernathy. It's going to Offerman again. Yeah, all right. Low no hitter through five. We go top six, and low rings up Russ Johnson. And Felix Escalona. The next batter, Jason Siner. Low with six Ks in the game. Not just a one-pitch pitcher anymore. He's added a splitter and a changeup to that sinker ball. Top seven, low. Gets Randy Wynn. Jason Veritek makes a throw over for the out. Veritek caught Nomo's no-no last year and caught low when they were both in Seattle earlier in their careers. Next batter, it's Cox. And they keep flirting with Offerman over there, but so far, so good. The Rays came in hitting a major league low 212 in nine road games. Two outs for Toby Hall. And Lowe gets him to pop out the Nixon and check out the Fenway scoreboard. Lots of zeros. No hitter through seven. And as Lowe starts to come out for the eighth, we flash back. We mentioned the no-hitter he took into the eighth, April 5th in Baltimore. No outs in the eighth there. Tony Batista to third. Shea Hillenbrand, well, maybe should have let it go foul. Anyway, base hit broke up the no-no. So back to Saturday now. First batter of the eighth. Would this one break it up? Jason Cotty, and he flies out to Manny. Lowe said, I was thinking Tiger Woods and the Masters. Finish the deal. That's what I kept telling myself. Greg Vaughn up next, and... Lowe gets Vaughn to pop. There's Offerman again. Hey, he's doing his job. Yeah, he is. He's, he's coming through. <laughs> Two outs. Fans getting excited. 32,837 on their feet. Low Abernathy. No Matt Garcia Parra. It's the first. No hits through eight. Ninth inning now. Everybody wants a peek. It's getting wicked exciting. Lowe comes out for the ninth. New owner John Henry getting his 700 million worth. First batter of the ninth. It's. Russ Johnson. And this one's got a shot to break it up. Right off the bat, it looks like a base hit, but this kind of dies out there for Ray Sanchez. One gone now. Escalona, the next guy up. Well, working quickly as And a looper to left center. And look at Ricky out there in place of Johnny Damon, who had a tight hammy. Henderson, his first start in center since he was with Oakland in 1998. Ricky's actually played in the last three no hitters in the majors Bud Smith and A.J. Burnett before this. Two out now, so here we go. Only thing between Lowe and his no hitter, Jason Tyner. Q. Joe Castiglione. Check, he winds the right arm around on the pitch. Swing and a ground ball, bounce to second. Sanchez has it to Offerman, and Derek Lowe. Lowe has pitched the no-hitter. He pumps his fist, is being mobbed by his teammates near the first baseline. And Derek Lowe has pitched the first no-hitter at Fenway Park since 1965. We said no more one-pitch pitcher. Lowe gets the last out on a change-up. Derek Lowe's first career complete game is a no-hitter. Boston wins 10-0. The irony here is that Lowe only moved into the rotation because he went into such an awful funk last season as Boston's closer got so bad, the Red Sox had to go out there and trade for Oogie Urbina. Remember, two seasons ago, Lowe tied with Todd Jones for the American League lead in saves. Now, here he is as the Red Sox best starter so far. Even Pedro says, I picked him as my Cy Young for this year. In just his 27th start, Lowe throws the first no-hitter at Fenway since Boston's Dave Moorhead blanked the Tribe in 1965. I'm just glad all you guys were here to, uh, you know, enjoy this with me. I, I know last year you guys had no confidence in me, and uh, I deserve that. And, uh, you know, I just want to come out in this park and... and, and get the confidence back in you guys and I'm just very proud that you guys stayed with me and uh, you cheered me on throughout the game. Thank you very much. The 2-2 pitch. Bounce right to Sanchez. On the first and no hitter for Derek Lowe. All the questions were deserved. You know, I struggled last year and you know, I haven't started. Last time I started I was 0-7 so um, but I feel like I've come full circle from last year, you know, mentally and physically and 
Um, I know this is just you know one game throughout the 35 that hopefully you make, and but it, it, I couldn't have asked for a better start. And to paraphrase Brian Kenny, no runs will score. No <laughs> runs will score. Derek Lowe's first no-no, the uh, first no-no with Fenway since 65. But the fans have seen more than a share of no-hitters, 12 in all. That's the most of any ballpark ever. Despite the 12 no-hitters, Fenway has never seen a perfect game. Remember, Mike Musina was one strike away from a perfecto at Fenway last September before Carl Everett's pinch single. We'll have much more on Derek Lowe's gem a bit later on SportsCenter. Now, by all accounts, it ought to be Boston's day to just bask in the sunshine. The Yankees, Ted Lilly, trying to rain on that parade. He hits Jeff Cirillo here in the bottom of the first. And you think, what is Van Pelt talking about? Well, stick around. Same inning, Lilly strikes out Brett Boone. No damage done by the Mariners in the first. Bottom second, two outs, nobody on. Lilly to Dan Wilson. Wilson takes a peek, doesn't want it. Strike three, you can sit. Bottom three, two out, nobody on. Mike Cameron. Takes a chop and misses. No hits for the Mariners yet. Bottom four. Cirillo lays down the butt. And look at the play from Lilly. A sweet slide. Gets to his feet. Throws a strike to first. Superb. The replay. Bare hand from his knees to Giambi. No hits for the Mariners. Top six. None on. Alfonso Soriano. A drive to right. Charles Gibson. Cannot quite make the play. A sort of a circuitous route to that one. And Soriano ends up at third. Ruled a triple. After a walk to Bernie Williams, Freddie Garcia bears down. Derek Jeter, normally so clutch, and we are 6-4-3. The game remains scoreless. A great one up in Seattle. Bottom six, Gibson. Soft liner up the middle. Soriano makes a good grab. Still no hits. Bottom seven. Cirillo won first after being hit by a pitch. And Brett Boone rips it to left, but Rondell White sort of a... Sort of a fake dive, we thought, in the newsroom. But, hey, he made a great play, kept the no-hitter intact. Top eight, Gerald Williams on second after. He came on to pinch run for John Vanderwall. Nick Johnson goes down swinging. Albert Castillo goes down swinging. Soriano goes down swinging. Garcia, after the leadoff double, strikes out the side. Bottom eight, Lilly. Carlos Guillen. Oh, that is just absolutely filthy. Roger Clemens digging it. One out. Still bottom eight. A runner on first after a walk. Lilly throws a wild pitch. Luis Ugueto advances to second, and he caused Lilly a lot of problems. He kept throwing to the bases to first and then to second, and then Desi Relifers breaks up the no-hitter, and he breaks up the shutout, and all of a sudden the Mariners are ahead one to nothing, and Lilly distraught, gives up the hit, gives up the run, pass to Saki on to get Rondell White with runners on first and second. Sit down, the Mariners win it one nothing, that's it. And that's all. What a ball game. Afterwards, Lily said, I realized where I was headed, and I thought I was going to get there. It's tough to work that hard and come up a little short. Give credit to Freddie Garcia, who also worked his behind off on the mound. Give Danny Baez to Frank Catalanato. Catalanato flares one the other way. Calvin Murray scores from second. It's 2-0 Rangers. Catalanato's sixth RBI of the year. Top eight, 4-1 Texas. Some history. Ellis Burks in a hurry. Off Rudy Sienez. It's the fourth home run of the year for Burks, but it's the 40th different Major League Park in which he is homered. That is a record. Top nine tying runs on second and third. Hideki Arabu. It's Ricky Gutierrez swinging. End the game. Arabu's fourth save. Four has, saves for Arabu. He's doing okay. It gets a little bit dicey, me. but he saves games. Huh. Cleveland drops its 10th and 12. Frank Catalanato sets the table quite nicely for Texas. The leadoff man had three hits. Rob Bell in his first start of the year. Six strong innings, one earned run. You can catch the rubber match of this series, Sunday Night Baseball at 8 Eastern. So far, no real offensive explosions in the first two, so you can expect some fireworks Sunday, 8 Eastern. Speaking of fireworks, let's go out west. A's up 3-1, Terrence Long. Woo-ha! I got you all in check. That's Buster Rhymes and all rap references all right. here. I've heard oh. him. Okay, good. A's up 6-1. Two batters later, Carlos Pena. Mark Burley. Oh, goodness. That's Pena's seventh homer. The A's up 7-1. Burley lasted two and two-thirds, gave up eight earned runs, three home runs. He'd only given up eight earned runs in 34 innings thus far. Four different A's had three hits in this onslaught, including Miguel Tejada, who had a 10-game hitting streak. But Greg Zahn has problems with his bat. He takes the ball and then says, you know what, wait a minute. This bat, this bat's broken, and, and we've got the bases loaded. Make it a good one, Bobby. Gets a new bat. 
Two pitches later, it's a good one. He rips a double into the gap. Morgan Ensberg, Julio Lugo, Craig Biggio all make their way around, and the Astros are ahead five to two. It's now five to three. Houston top nine. Zahn again. He stings a triple down the right field line. BJ Surhoff problems in the corner. Now ultimately, Biggio scores, and Zahn is thrown out at the plate. He did have four RBIs, but that's not the it's not the problem here. Surhoff, a leg injury. The play was delayed for about three minutes. X-rays inconclusive. More tests Sunday on Surhoff. Back to this game, Dave Malicki has now won his last three starts, giving up only two earned runs in the process. Darrell Ward on a 13-game hitting streak. The Strohs win just their third in the last 11 ball games in Atlanta. Speaking of in Atlanta, Kevin Millwood started his career 29 and 15 at home, but he loses his ninth decision in his last 13 in Atlanta. Marlins hosting Arizona. <laughs> Iggy Pop in the house. Look at my man. <laughs> God. Not really Iggy, but it might no. as well be. Top three ties 2 2. Luis Gonzalez to center. Preston Wilson sticks the landing. Take another look. How does he catch this? Kind of a front hand, backhand kind of dealer. Top six, 5 3 Marlins. Rod Barajas. Alex Gonzalez, another great catch. This in support of Brad Penny, who allowed only three runs on nine hits in seven. And take another look at Agon. He did make just a second error of the season on a bad throw in the next inning, though. Top nine, six, three Marlins, two on, two out. Vladimir Nunez gets Gonzo's third save and four chances, and the Marlins win. Penny, the Diamondbacks minor league pitcher of the year in 97 and 98, beats Arizona for the first time. Cliff Floyd played right field for the first time since 97, fueling some speculation that maybe the Marlins are showcasing him for a future trade. He with their starting pitching ravaged by injuries and ineffectiveness, the St. Louis Cardinals turned to a 10th different starter in 24 games on Saturday. Mike Crudale was handed the pearl against the Expos. His credentials, two and two-thirds innings of relief. He had never started before in any game. His goal, hopefully a few decent innings, then hand it off to the next guy. He did his job. We're scoreless in the fourth. That's Bruce Chen. Eduardo Perez going to go ahead and walk his dogs and represent Wu to the fullest. That's his third. It's one nothing Cardinals. I'm sorry, what was that? I'm going to tell you a little bit later. It's a Wu-Tang Clan thing. That's for all the people. That's Luther Hagman, Jose Vidro. He strikes out, and he's arguing. He said, Wu-Tang Clan, I don't like the Wu-Tang Clan. I like Method Man. It's fine. Bottom nine, Gene Stecksholte facing Peter Bergeron. Look at, at the end of the game. Four Cardinal pitchers combined on the shutout. Expos catcher Michael Barrett said it was like a spring training game where they just continue to throw guys at you. Like Matthews incidentally got the win. Jim Edmonds and Albert Pujols both had a couple of hits for the Redbirds who have taken the first two in Montreal. Giants at Synergy, Jose Rijos, first start in Cincy since 95. Top two, one nothing Reds, and look at him. It's like he never left, gets Jeff Kent. Bottom two now. This is Corky Miller, and that's a home run. Corky off Ryan Jensen. Miller, 2 for 4, 4 RBI, and it's 3 nothing Reds. Plenty for Riho. Top five, he's facing David Bell. Riho and six, allowed two runs on five hits. He struck out four. Not bad for a guy who turns 37 next month and is coming off five elbow operations. This one called in the middle of the eighth after a steady rain, and Riho said, I feel like a hurricane today. I'm bigger than the rain. <laughs> Riho has made two starts in his comeback, beating the Cubs and Giants and allowing only two earned runs. It's the Reds' seventh straight win. They stay on. Tiger Saturday, and Torrey Hunter gets him on this one, but it's only a solo home run. Hunter's eighth, the Twins down two to one. Bottom three, Tigers up two one. Randall Simon, who had himself a day, two for four with three RBI, gets two of those RBIs on this lumberjack, smoking it out. His sixth of the year. Tigers are up 4-1. Top nine. Tigers ahead 5-1. Bobby Kilty. Go away. Cornejo. A complete game. One run. Eight Ks. The 23-year-old who was in double-A last year. One of the top prospects in the Tigers organization. Got spanked in his last outing. He said, I had to wait six days. And I've been thinking about this game a lot. Jason Angels in Anaheim. Top five. They're loaded for David Eckstein. Say hello. Eckstein. To the left front. Grand slam. Look at the Pelicans, Manny. Fly, <laughs> Pelicans! Eckstein's first career Grand Slam, 11 of 4. Angels win. They've won three straight for the first time this year. Royals and Royals. All about Tony Batista. Paul Bird, who was 4 0, not anymore. Batista out in a hurry, a three run homer. Orioles up, three love. Early on, it's the first inning, a three run homer. Bird gave up five earned runs. 
Batista not done. Equal opportunity off Nate Field. Nothing personal, just business. Batista, five RBI, three hits, three runs, his sixth home run. And hey, Hoyne Baltimore's won six of eight. Sidney Ponson gets his first win in 15 starts. Kansas City has now been out homered on the year 33 to 11. And to follow up on Sean Estes' one hit performance Friday against the Brewers, Lenny Harris looking. Estacio perfect through two. It's early. Top three, two out, still perfect. Nick Nugabauer, the opposing pitcher, Ray Ardonez, as good as anyone. Estacio, perfect through three. Meanwhile, if you're driving a red Explorer, if you come to the parking lot, your car has melted. Speaking of flames, Estacio chucking them. No hitter through five in the sixth, nobody out. Excuse me, two outs. Now everyone's out. Alex Sanchez looking. No hit bit into the seventh. In the seventh, two nothing Mets. No hitter still intact. Jeff Jenkins, a clean base hit. The Brewers first of the game. Estacio can't believe it. And our good friends from FDNY show up to take care of the Blades, and the Mets take care of the Brewers. The Mets' last five wins have come by one run. Estacio now 4-1, threw 105 pitches, 70 were strikes. The Mets' starting pitching, second-best ERA in baseball. Brewers manager Jerry Royster said, if you would have told me we would allow three runs to the Mets in two days, there's no way I would have thought we'd lose twice. You did. Phillies and Rockies at Coors, top six. They're loaded for Todd Helton. Down the right field line, Juan Pierre, Juan Uribe, Larry Walker all come in. Triple for Helton, it's 8-3 Colorado. Top nine, they're loaded. Jose Jimenez on in relief and facing Travis Lee. Travis up in a big spot here. It's 8-6. Jimenez is six save and six chances. Phillies have lost four straight and eight of nine. Larry Boa says, the only thing keeping me going now is my first year in San Diego, the 12 and 32 start. Rockies 2-0 under Clint Hurdle. Dodgers and Cubs rained out of Wrigley. They'll play two on Sunday. Pods and Pirates also washed.